Nah, I don't. Okay. Let's see, is it right here? Yeah, okay. Checking my bullets real quick. Crocodile enemy. There are two ways to beat it. One, shoot it until it runs away, in which case you would have to deal with it on the B scenario. Or two, uh, yeah, if you did have to deal with it on the B scenario, you actually kill it then, but. Or you can do this. Obviously better to just do it that way so you don't have to because it's a gigantic waste of bullets if you do it any other way <laughs> all right bring this lock Let's go. Yeah, we gotta grab that wolf metal. Yeah, okay. And I already did that, so go up here. Yeah, sure, you can, can lay down there for right now. Got the eagle metal. Nothing hidden in here. Just want to make sure. All right, sewer manager diary. June twenty eighth. It's been a while, but I saw Don today, and we talked about it. And we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed till yesterday. It really doesn't seem to come as much as a surprise, given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him anyways? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been more, even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible requests. The Chief has my sympathies, though. After all, he's done, after all he's done for the town, he doesn't even deserve this. <laughs> he totally does. I rarely drink because uh, I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I, I have much to complain since this is how I make my living. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him, but, uh, to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun on me and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the at lab without my uh, help and my medal. This is what it means to... Uh, for the chief to protect, serve and protect. August 21st, William informed me that the police and the media have begun their investigations on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there will be a possibility that even that they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation has been concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I will have to be extremely cautious that I and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Jerry, please. Alright, let me turn that off with this thing again. Moving on. I think 
think more roaches will attack you if you go through here. Sherry, please hurry. Okay, no. I believe it turns back on as soon as you get through it. I don't think it turns on while you're in there, but I've always been too paranoid to bother to check. Okay. Now all these spiders should be gone. Replace the Zambos. Sherry, please! And yeah, Sherry can die, but the zombies won't grab her or anything, and so... so hopefully that can't... Oh, okay, there's still spiders. I'll just ignore them. Sherry, please hurry up. Can we get to use our metal? Yes, game. I want to do this before I accidentally get poisoned. spot for the, um, the lighter is actually right after this. Okay, how much ammo do I got on my gun? Okay, I just want to make sure. I know there's a save point in this next spot, but, ugh. Yeah, you need it for that. Sucky. Alright. Two rooms full of zombies coming up. Here's one. Come on. Shot right there. Making sure. Yeah, spark shot. That's some good stuff right there. Oh, okay, she stopped. Sherry, please. Uh, Leon would get parts for the custom shotgun right there, which is really good. Oh yeah, like the other thing, this thing does not restore ammo. Get get more ammo or anything. Actually, was this only one hallway or was it two? Honestly, trying to remember. Okay, it is two. Cherry, please. Yeah. Eh. 
Shit. Okay. I don't remember where the other end of the hallway takes you. <laughs> I'll probably go visit that in a little bit because I do want to go back for that key. Not a lot of grenade rounds. Not down here. This is not needed for the rest of the game. I'm gonna store this right now for more inventory space. I need the lighter. Sherry, follow me. Again. Oh, okay, good. She, she just stays back up there. I wasn't sure. Okay, just some green herbs. I can deal without that. He's useful. Actually, I think it just gives me a bunch more acid rounds, which is good enough. All it does is launch a flare, which lets you be able to see the key. He is a lot more useful with Leon, obvious, uh, because Claire gets some acid rounds, Leon gets parts for the custom Magnum, which does a shitload of damage. Honestly, I think Leon's armament is considerably better than Claire's, although she gets the grenade launcher, Leon just gets custom shotgun and custom Magnum. You can also get a custom handgun, but it's kind of up in the air whether that one's actually better than normal. Since it has burst shots to knock zombies over better, but it also can eat up ammo really fast. Anything else? Okay. Let's grab these things. Carry, please move. Alright, let's store this stuff away for right now. Not bring that handgun back. Just doing a little bit, a little bit of sorting. Um, don't need that right now. Don't need this right now either. Actually, I don't even need the handgun anymore. Let's see anything else of interest in here. Not really. Okay. This would actually be a very good point to actually save, just in case shit goes wrong, because I'm near the end of the game. This would be a good spot for to use one of my three save slots that I want to use. There we go. Okay. That's first aid spray, which I already got two. I got two, and I can use one based on what I've done. Let's see. Um, smart shot. Upcoming boss fight. Actually, I'm questioning. Oh yeah, I think you have to get something from out here first. I think you have to go inside of here, grab a key. Sherry. Okay. Yeah, the control panel has keyhole. Actually, I think that monitor is only for Leon or well, B scenario characters. Yay. There's something in the toilet. 
Flame rounds, yay. I think I could just use the key right away. In there, Sherry. My forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. Right. Basically, just saying, if there's an emergency, that door's gonna lock, lock behind me. If this game had the 180 turn that later games have, this would be so much easier. Seventy percent left. I, have, I, I used a lot less than I thought. Sherry. sure it'll keep you safe. Thank you, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. I grew up alone, but now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. here for a bit. I'll be right back as soon as I found the antidote for you. Right. Yo. Yeah, jeez, I have a lot more of that than I thought I was gonna have. Any more flame rounds that I may or may not use, because it's acid rounds. Yay. I might not use any more flame rounds, because 
there's enhanced liquors in this place, and they make a... I don't know if they're immune to the flames or not, but they make a weird no it makes a weird noise whenever you hit them with flames. So I'm actually not sure. So I'm probably just gonna store this away, because I don't think I'll be using my handgun for the rest of the game. I'm gonna switch this out with the submachine gun. Make sure to use that up. And keep the acid rounds for emergencies, but I'll bring flame rounds with me too, because there's yeah, there's a few enemies I could use the flame rounds on. Alright, now we're in the lab, the last area of the game. And the lab is actually not very long either. Wasn't very long in the Re in Resident Evil 1 2 either, I suppose. The police station's easily the longest area in this game. I believe we go this way first. Spray, which I don't care about. Plug. Oh, freeze case. Use the case on here. Which we use back in the area we just came from. That way, we, all the power is brought back. But you can't really do anything until you do that. Now I think about it. Having that equipped right now would probably be better. There's some planet enemies in here. I think they take more damage from fire. I think. Here, I think th you get the key card. Or you can just straight up open those doors, I don't remember. Um, I think that door right there is blocked off, so this one first. Let's see, here is. Well, nah. Leon gets actually a flamethrower right there, which is. Which varies on how useful that thing is. Um, laboratory security manual. Laboratory security manual. Security measures in case of an emergency. In the instance of an uncontrollable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed towards the underground transport facility. In the instance that abnormalities are detected among the cargo and transit, all materials will be automatically transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials should will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a Class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northernmost route con currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as Emergency Escape Route. This route will secure passage to the relay points outside the city limits. Disclosure about information regarding the research conducted here or the existence of this facility is strictly prohibited. Since it is a top priority to keep all research classified, escape access may be denied under certain ex extenuating circumstances. Let's see. Ah, yes, the anti BOW gas sprinkler. No. That actually weakens all the enemies in the lab. It's a bad thing because. Um, there's a document. It might be this one, actually. Let's just see. First. Oh. Temporary user registration for culture experimentation room. Username guest. Password none. Valid for 24 hours. Okay, that's for something else completely. Yeah, researcher's corpse. He poured oil all over the place. Which, if you have the lighter, you can just light that on fire. Or if you have this, you can do the same thing.
Anyways, the anti-BOW gas is a bad thing. It weakens the enemies, yes, but when you get to the B scenario, um, enemies gain a resistance to it and become stronger. Making the B scenario even more difficult than it already is, so it's generally a bad idea to do anything like that. I knew it! Incriven. Was there anything worthwhile in this room? I'm gonna be mad if there wasn't. Oh, okay. Two, two, yeah. Grenade rounds. Don't know what would be there for Leon, but maybe shotgun shells or something. I don't know. Yeah, it only used up 6% of the thing. So no worries. And yeah, those hunters make a weird sound if you hit them with flames. I'm not sure if that actually means anything or not. Oh, also, these things end up becoming poisonous if you do that. Still active. She's still looking over there. Oh, I got both of them. Okay, good. That works. 